welcome to JustFrugalMe.com. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification. Hello everyone, this is Joshua coming back to you from JustFrugalMe.com. Today we are going to talk about the importance of starting a sound budget. Every great financial plan has a strong budget. A budget will give you more control, more feeling that you are in control of your finances and let you save toward your goals. There's a book out there called The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. I will leave the link down below in the comment section. The Total Money Makeover is an easy read. I read it within four hours. Just different stories about how people are taking their financial lives to a different level and the importance of budgeting. Today, I want to go over six tips that will help you start your financial budget. Number one, set a goal. If you want to succeed at anything, you must first set a goal. It's very important to set a goal that will motivate you. Because once you feel motivated, you will feel inspired. And once you're inspired, you will feel empowered to actually want to reach those goals. Without goals, you lack direction. You want to know where your destination will be. Right? Zig Ziglar says, and I love this, if you aim at nothing, you will hit it every single time. So make sure that you have a strong financial goal in place before you start with your budget. Calculate your expenses. So we already have our goal, correct? A goal that motivates and empower you. But now we must really find out where our money is going. You can do this by like reviewing your banking statements, receipts. Now, after we look at our expenses with the bank statements and also our receipts, we want to look at those reoccurring charges for our living expenses. Living expenses such as our mortgage, our car payments, utilities, subscriptions, things like that. When you are calculating your budget and calculating your expenses, make sure that you put a little buffer in there for your emergency fund. Determine your income. That's very important. So first, we set a goal. We looked at our expenses, meaning the money that's going out. Now, let's look at the money that's coming in to make sure that everything is on one accord. Once you figure out how much money that you need to stay afloat, Put those figures into our budget. If you have more money left over, that's great. You can go back and apply that to your emergency fund, or you can always go back and apply that to different areas of saving. Unfortunately, if you have less money to cover those expenses, no problem. On a side hustle, one thing that I do is driving for Uber. Just even a few hours out on the road, I mean, I would go out at 7 o'clock, come back by 10 o'clock with two, $300 just for that night. If you would consider driving for Uber, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below and also right here that you can get started today. When you're doing your budget, make sure that you are taking into account alimony, child support interest, dividends, all of the money that you think that may come in. Number four, set checkpoints. These checkpoints are to make sure that when you do your budget, as you are going through the month, that your budget is still on track. If you have a overage, make sure that you know exactly where that money is going. And if you have a shortfall, make sure that you hit up some side hustles. Again, Uber is always a good option because you get to work on your own time, your own schedule. And again, that link is in the description box below. 
A zero-based budget is that every dollar has a name. Every dollar that goes in, you need to assign your money where to go. Because if you don't tell your money what to do, your money will tell you what to do. And that's not what we want. You always want to make sure that you are in control. Number five, track your expenses. The best way to go on a trip is to make sure you have a map, right? Your budget is your map to make sure that you are headed in the right direction to your goal. The goal that you set at the beginning of this budget is to make sure that you are headed the right way. So track your expenses. And the best way to track your expenses is to make sure that you are doing it on a budget form. There's a free form at justfrugalme.com. I'm going to leave the description in the box below. Make sure that it, it some of y'all might say, well, I don't want to do a budget because when I do a budget, I'm out of money. Wrong. When you do a budget, you know exactly where your money is going. So get out of the mindset where you hear people say, oh, a budget means that I'm not able to spend. Put your priorities on that budget. If going out to eat is a priority of yours, just budget for it. Y'all understand? Make sure that you are doing your budget and make sure, too, that you are tracking your progress. One way to track your progress is using the envelope system. The envelope system is a system that you are tracking your money with cash. That you would have an envelope for going out to eat, an envelope for the grocery store, an envelope for shopping, an envelope for just say your light bill, your phone bill. And once the money in that envelope is out, is out. And that way you can ensure that you're not overspending. Uh, the envelope system, y'all, is a powerful way to track your expenses. Because the beauty is because you are physically watching your money leave the envelope. It inspires you to be more responsible with your money. If you want to know more about the envelope, system, just click the description below and I will leave that down there for you. But that's honestly in my life is a powerful tool. The last one is be realistic. Be real. Make sure that it is possible for you to achieve your goal. Make sure that your budget is attainable. Don't go out and set goals or set a budget that you know it is impossible. If you are a family of four and you say that your eating budget is $20, y'all, that's not being realistic, right? Make sure that everything that you put in your budget is attainable. If you set a goal and there is no hope of achieving that goal, y'all, you are only demoralizing yourself and eroding your confidence. Look here, honestly. By Doing this budget, if you fall off, it's okay. You're not going to hell for falling off your budget. But the most important thing is like learning how to ride a bike. Once you fall off, get back on as soon as you can and go through it again. It's a learning process. Thank you so much for tuning in. These were just six tips that I felt like I should bring to your attention about starting your budget. Everything is so much easier when it's written down. So, if you have more tips that you would like to share with everyone, please leave it in the comment section below. And most importantly, remember that being frugal is not being cheap, but it's being resourceful. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video with someone who you feel that would benefit from this content. Thank you for joining. Have a great day.